Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. No Talking Points memo this evening because we have a Factor National exclusive, an interview with the parents of Kate Steinle, who was shot to death by an illegal alien felon 12 days ago. By all accounts, Kate was a fine young woman. She grew up in Pleasanton, California, outside of San Francisco, earning a communications degree from Cal Poly. Kate loved to travel, exploring different cultures all around the world. She was also very charitable working with the Challenge Athletes Foundation. Summing up, Kate was a generous and caring person. Her parents have set up a fund that will help causes close to Kate's heart. We'll give you that information in just a few moments. But joining us now from Pleasanton, Jim Steinley, Kate's father, and Liz Sullivan, her mother. Ms. Sullivan, we'll begin with you. What do you want the world to know about Kate? Well, she was not only beautiful, but a very soulful person, a lot of depth, a lot of spirituality, always from a young age. And uh, I think that's what's helping to give us the strength that we've conjured up here in this terrible, terrible situation. I feel her strength still with me. You uh, have a very close family. And, and Kate was, uh, even though she's a professional woman, lived outside the home, uh, she was close to both of you, correct? Correct. Yes, yes. She and, would come over quite occasionally and, and visit with us. And the relationship that you had with Kate was one of mutual respect? I mean, you, you hear a lot about, you know, families these days that don't get along, but it looks to me like your family was extremely close and supportive of each other. Very much so, very much so. Uh, in the last three weeks, uh, because of our uh, situation of moving, Kate had spent a lot of time here with us, had spent, the e spent nights sleeping here, and uh, most recently she and I had just taken a nap together when I came out of my yoga class uh, on Wednesday. She was waiting for me outside the room. Uh, just very, very close, very totally in contact all the time. Yeah, and she was helping you out on the move. And, and I just want to get that example across for younger people in America that, that your home um, had a lot of love in it, and, and that makes this situation even more painful. Now, Mr. Steinle, um, can you tell us what happened that night? Pick it up when you met Kate. What happened? Well, a friend of mine uh, that was here visiting, if Liz and I was here visiting, we, uh, she hadn't been in the city, so we thought we'd go into the city to uh, uh, just to visit, and it was extremely hot out here, so, uh, uh, so we headed to the city, and we gave Kate a call, and uh, she met with us, and we walked around and did different things, and laughed, and, and uh, Went in the ferry building and came out and decided to walk down the, you know, the pier and um, stopped at the pier and enjoyed the beauty of uh, San Francisco and the day that it's been and it was and uh, we turned around and came back uh, from whence we came and um, we heard a shot and uh, Kate went down and the rest, uh, we all know what happened then. What did she say before she went down? Help me, Dad. And you had no idea w what was happening at that point? Uh, none whatsoever. We, we heard a pop, and shortly after that, uh, Kate went down. Did you and then we had some kind we had some kind souls come over, uh, uh, you know, gave her mouth to mouth and did all I could, and uh, some other kind souls come over and helped us and, uh, until the paramedics got there. Did, did you see the man who shot your daughter? No, no. We, we were all, everyone in that particular, in that area was just concentrated on Kate and what had happened. You know, it was pretty obvious something, something pretty serious happened and uh, that was our response was okay. to her. We, just, we weren't looking around or anything like that. Now, Ms. Sullivan, the outpouring uh, to you and your family and Mr. Steinley has been unbelievable. Tell us about that. Just the 
the food, the cards, the offers for help, uh, you know, the people that have come from very far to, to come and give us condolences. Her second grade teacher came from Auburn. Uh, you know, it has just been absolutely unbelievable how many lives she touched. And the cards, the flowers, the, the service, uh, the memorial was, I mean, I just was taken away with, with the amount of people and everything. It was, it was overwhelming. Just nothing you, you know, I mean, you can't pre prepare for anything like this, but it was, it was astonishing. And it is astonishing. And we are hoping to carry this forward. We're hoping for some good to come out of all of this. Well, that's where we come in. And in our next segment, we're going to tell everyone what we're trying to do. But Mr. Steinle, was all of this outpouring for your daughter, uh, was it of any comfort to you? Oh, my, yes. It, uh, more than comfort. You know, we're a family that's strong in faith and that, that in itself uh, kept us strong. Um, and Kate was faithful and, and she believed and she had a great spirit. And uh, the thing, as uh, Liz said, that, that amazed us, the, the amount of people, uh, Dubai, she worked in Dubai for a while. People called there, friends that we had lived there. It just, and they, fl they flew in just to be at the memorial service and people from India. We just, we, we knew Kate had touched a lot of people. Uh, you had to meet her to, to get that, but uh, uh, no, it was a strength, uh, the calls of people here all the time. Uh, you can't do this alone, regardless of how strong your faith and how tough you might be, but uh, uh, we're, 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 just, we're just astonished. With, uh, not that surprised, I guess, because Kate being Kate, but uh, yeah, without all the, the love around the world, actually, toward Kate, uh, this had been a little tougher road to hoe. All right. Now, we're going to hold the... Uh we're going to hold Liz and uh, Jim over um, for the next segment, but I want to give you some very important information right now. The fund that will promote Kate's legacy and generosity is GoFundMe.com slash Y2ANEAW. That's GoFundMe.com slash Y2ANEAW. And uh, we're gonna do, that'll be a charitable fund and a, a legacy fund for Kate Steinle. We'll have more with Kate's parents after these messages. Continuing now with our lead story, an exclusive interview with the parents of Kate Steinle, who was murdered in San Francisco by a criminal illegal alien. So far, about 400,000 of you have signed a petition posted on BillOReilly.com that we will deliver to the Senate and the House, asking for Congress to pass Kate's law. That proposed law would mandate mandate that any illegal alien convicted of a felony in the USA who comes back to this country after being deported would serve a mandatory five years in federal prison upon apprehension. Second offense, 10 years. The key word is mandatory, no wiggle room. The debate over whether non-felons who defy deportation should be part of the bill's procedure is underway, but the vital part is keeping the felons off the streets of America. We are hoping to get one million Americans to sign a petition on BillOReilly.com, which again we'll deliver to Speaker Boehner and the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Rejoining us now from Pleasanton, California, Kate's parents, Liz Sullivan and Jim Steinle. So I'm talking to you over the weekend, Mr. Steinle, and you indicated that you do support Kate's law. Why? Well, I, I support Kate's law because uh, it would be a legacy in her name and uh, her death would uh, not go uh, unnoticed. Um, for an apolitical family, we, we, we keep up with politics uh, because we're citizens of the United States. And, you know, we feel the uh, federal, state, and cities, uh, their laws are here to protect us, but we feel that uh, this particular set of circumstances and the people involved, the different, the different uh, agencies uh, let us down and uh, we just we're just a little tired of the finger pointing and just want to see some action and if Kate's law saves one person then uh, it, it, it's all for good and that's very well said Mr. Steinle. Ms. Sullivan that's exactly what I uh, what I was trying to do if it saves one 
American, one American family that does not have to go through, Ms. Sullivan, what you are going through right now, then Cage Law is worth it. And it should be done. It's only fair. And our laws are supposed to protect us, not only from foreign felons, but from domestic felons. But we can do this. I think it will happen. And uh, that was one of the reasons that I wanted you to come on tonight. Do you have any thoughts about it, Ms. Sullivan? You just want it to be a good, solid law that won't have holes in it. And I'm sure there will be a lot of posturing back and forth. You, you, there, I, I had no idea how many people have been killed by illegal uh, aliens. And uh, I've, we've had quite a few people reach out to us, and we had no idea it was an issue. But, but something definitely needs to be done. Yeah, the number is in the Bill, thousands. I mean, <clears throat> sure, Mrs. Stanley, go ahead. Uh, if I may add, uh, you know, the family wants to be involved in, in the language of the law. Uh, so it, we can get it. We, so we have a sense of Kate within the law. Uh, well, I think what we'd like real, to do. That's very important to us. I think what we'd like to do is, is bring you both to Washington um, to talk to uh, the congressmen and the senators who are putting the law together. Um, they go on vacation in August. I think when they come back, we'll get you both to Washington to talk to them face to face, maybe to testify in front of some committees there. And, and so you can have input and then we'll report every step of the way, because I think you're absolutely right that this law is named after your daughter and you should have input into it. So we're going to make that happen for you. It'll be at our expense and, and we'll fly you into Washington and we'll set up the meetings for you. Would that be OK for you guys to do? That would be wonderful. That would be fantastic. Yeah, because we'll make that happen. In Kate would be proud. Kate would be proud. Well, we're doing, it, we're doing it for her, we're doing it for you, and we're doing it for all Americans. And, and, and Absolutely. I've researched your daughter, and, you know, I'm, I'm thinking if my daughter uh, were shot dead, I, I mean, I don't know how you guys can even sit for this interview. I don't think I could do it. I think you have so much courage. And I think that courage and I think your perspective has to be heard in Washington. And, um, you know, I'll go so far as to say I'd like to get the president of the United States to talk to you as well. But we'll, we'll work on all of that. We'll do it in early September when they come back rested from their vacation. And in the meantime, um, we want everybody to go to, the, to your website. Um, and I know millions of people will. I, I know they will because Americans are good people. And we're concerned on a very, very uh, intimate basis with, with crime victims and families that are suffering the way you are. So I'm going to each give you a, a last statement. Ms. Sullivan, you go first. Well, you know, it's just a horrific situation, and we find that it's ha touched so many other people, and you just want it to pay forward. You want to play it for pay it forward, and you want to make it so much better for everybody in the United States that this, as you say, would never happen again. Mr. Steinle? And that's our hope. Well, um, it just, again, our faith has kept us strong, and the people uh, have kept us strong. But Kate's bright light, the, you know, the battle of evil uh, and, and goodness, uh, what happened to Kate was evil personified, but sh her bright light that is shown all over the world uh, has helped us and uh, to show us and the people of the world, the United States and everywhere, uh, with this law that uh, that uh, goodness uh, uh, trumps uh, evil uh, any time and uh, she was a kind person and uh, and we're hoping to, to uh, just keep her legacy alive well thank you both um, I can't tell you how much it means to uh, to the country and I'd like to say from me and for the vast majority of factor viewers that our prayers are with you and and your family and thanks again. We'll be in touch. Thank you. So and we will continue this. We're not going to let this go. Directly ahead.